Local civil rights activists are now demanding government leaders to take on police reform. Our ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano, she spoke to the president of the San Diego Police Officers Association, who says the profession is always evolving. Unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony. Find the defendant guilty. In the aftermath of former Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin's murder conviction of George Floyd, local civil rights activists are speaking out. Get proactive and pass this resolution now. Shane Harris of the People's Association of Justice Advocates is now demanding local leaders to pass a resolution of the Congressional George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. This would create an independent process to investigate police misconduct or excessive force, establish a federal registry of police misconduct complaints and disciplinary actions actions, grant funds to local agencies for anti-discrimination training programs, and prohibit no-knock warrants, chokeholds, carotid holds, among other things. This federal law will challenge all local police departments to live up to their true standard, the one that we speak up on our cars, on our police cars every day, which is to protect and serve. San Diego Police Officers Association President Jack Schaefer says in the Chauvin case, justice was served. I trust our justice system, um, and it looks as though that uh, you know justice was served in this case. In his more than 30-year career, Schaefer says he's seen many police reforms. Changes have already been implemented even locally since Floyd's death. In June, every law enforcement agency in the county banned the use of controversial carotid restraint. In November, San Diegans voted to have an independent body with subpoena powers to review police conduct. He anticipates more changes in the future. Our job is constantly evolving. Um, we're always trying to look for better ways to do things. Sometimes it takes tragic events to really uh, highlight things to make sure that we're training officers the way they need to be trained and holding people accountable. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. In response, County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher sent ABC 10 News a statement that reads in part, the renewed interest at the federal level in the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act of 2021 is a positive step in the right direction. He says the Board of Supervisors plans to take a formal vote on May 4th.